Strange, coming soon to theaters. Act 5. Is she to be buried in Christian burial when she willfully seeks her own salvation? Sweet, so sweet. I hope thou shouldn't have been my Hamlet's wife. I thought thy bride's bed to have decided, sweet maid, I've not had strewed thy grave. I want Ophelia. <laughs> Forty thousand brothers could not, without a quantity of love, make up my son. What wilt thou do with her? Claudius, what is the reason that you use me thus? I loved you never. But it is no matter. Let Hercules himself do what he may. The cat will view and the dog will harvest the day. I pray thee, good Horatio, wait upon him. Strengthen your patience in our last night's speech. We'll put the matter to the present push. Good Gertrude, set some watch over your son. This grave shall have a living monument. An hour of fight shortly shall be saved. Till then, impatience are proceeding me. Act 5, scene 2. Horatio, I have something to tell you. Up from my cabin, a scene grown sparked about. In the dark, looked I find out, had desire, fingered their jacket, and finally withdrew to mine own room again, making so bold. My fears for getting manners, so unsealed. The brain commission where I found Horatio, a royal navigator. Exact command, larded with many several sorts of reasons, importing Denmark's health and England's too. With ho, such bugs and goblins in my life that on the supervised, no leisure baited, no not to stay the grinding of the axe, my head should be struck off. Why, what a king is this? Does it not, think thee, stand me now upon he that hath killed my king and hoarded my mother, cocked in between the elector and my popes, thrown out his angle for my proper life? And with such cozen age, it is not perfect conscience to quit him with my arm. Is it not to be damned to let this canker of nature come and further evil? The king, sir, hath laid that in a dozen passes between yourself and him. He shall not exceed you three hits. He hath laid on twelve for nine, and it would come to immediate trail if your lordship would vouchsafe the answer. Not a whit, we defy augury. There's a special providence in the fall of Sparrow. If it be now, tis not to come. If it not to come, it will be now. If it be not now, yet it come to the readiness of all. Since no man of aught he leaves, no, what is it to be times but be? I'm satisfied in nature. Whose motive is in this case should stir me most to my revenge? But in my terms of honor, I stand aloof and will no reconcilement. Till by some elder masters of known honor, I have a voice and precedent of peace to keep my name unborn. But till that time, I do receive your offered love, like low, and will not wrong it. Set me the soups of wine upon the table. If Hamlet give the first, second hit, or quit in answer of the third exchange, let all the battlements their ordnance fire. The king shall drink to Hamlet's better. And in the cup of union shall we turn, richer than the which her successive kings in Denmark's crown have won. Give me the cup. And let the kettle to the trumpet speak, the trumpet to the canyon near without, the canyons to the heavens, the heavens to earth. Now the king dumps to Hamlet. Come, begin. And to you, the judges, be a wary eye. Thank you. 